be showing you guys how to get the new gold outfit on NBA 2K25. And yes, you guys heard me correctly. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to get this new gold gold outfit, bro. I mean, look how sick this looks. Now, right now, this outfit is trending on 2K25. Everybody's making videos on it. People saying how you can get double rep wearing this outfit and more stuff like that. Well, today in this video, I'll be covering everything that you need to know. And this is also after the patch. And I'm gonna be talking about what the patch is in a few seconds. But before we start, as y'all can see, I finally hit 99 overall. You know what I'm saying? It was pretty easy. But that's beside the point. Now, if you'll press options and go to quests, and you guys scroll down to the greatest of all time. As y'all can see on the right, it shows that you can win some VC, the shorts and the jersey, the golden shoes, and last but not least, the actual goat head. Now, as y'all can see, I went up all the way to the golden shoes. I can get the goat head right now if I wanted to. I just didn't get it. I might get it later. I don't know. But if you complete all of this, you will get also 10,000 VC on top of it. Now, you guys are probably asking yourself, Zeptile, what is the goat tier? How do I get to goat tier 4? How do I get to goat tier 3? Well, today in this video, I'm going to be showing y'all everything. Now, let's first start off on why most of you guys are here. You guys heard that if y'all wear this outfit, you get double rep. Letting y'all know right now, it's cap. Well, it's not fully cap. The new patch actually made it so you don't get double rep anymore. And the messed up thing is that whoever did this before, I think they still get to get the double rep. It's just that if you're doing it after the patch, you don't get the double rep anymore. By the way, by double rep, I mean 1.5 rep. I'm just saying double because it's basically the same. Not really, but y'all know what I mean. And y'all want to know what's funny? It wasn't even this outfit that gave you the double rep. I'm going to take off the jersey. As y'all can see right now, I'm wearing the Dynasty T. And this is the t-shirt right here that actually gave you the 1.5 rep that basically comes with this outfit. Fit. and lots of youtubers for some reason messed that up so this was the teacher that gave you double rep but not anymore so if you're here for double rep you will not be getting it but if you guys are here to actually just get the golden outfit because it just looks sick i mean how can you go wrong with this outfit and also here's the back right here i'm gonna be showing you how to get it right now now if you'll go to my career and go to go tiers 2k basically put every nba player as a ranking so obviously michael jordan's number one and then lebron's number two kobe's number three and as you can see i'm actually in number four and that's because i grinded my career to get the jerseys and stuff like that but y'all do not need to go all the way up to a tier 2 for a tier 4 you guys can get the shorts and for tier 3 you can actually get the jersey tier 2 you get the golden shoes and then tier 1 you can get the goat head now as y'all can see it says i have 6.4 goat points for me to get the goat head i just need literally 100,000 more goat points which is not hard at all so i might do it in the future it's really easy i can just get it quickly but i'll see about that now you're probably asking yourself how will i get these goat tiers and how will i get it quickly well let me show y'all this now what y'all want to do is go to my career and press play next game now i recommend you guys are in a new season you might have to be on a new season for this now keep in mind if y'all do not see this quest right here do not worry the more you guys play my career this will show up so just don't worry about this for now but back to the my career stuff if you guys scroll down these games you guys will see some games called key games now these key games are really important so how you guys start off with getting these goal points fast is you guys want to see the first key game and literally sim to it just sim to it and you know what i'm saying let this choose win or l whatever let this all simulate to the key game now keep in mind i might say like new goal moment game available you're just gonna press okay go back to the key game and press simulate again to there now as y'all can see we finally made it to the key game our goal for this is trying to make it to the finals and winning it because if you win the finals you get a lot of gold points and keep in mind i only won two finals and i got the full outfit plus the golden shoes and if i win one more i can get the go ahead it might take longer for you it might take shorter for you it just depends on how good you do now the reason why we're not simulating all the way to the finals is because you do have to play the key games it doesn't let you sim out of it so when you're at a key game you guys want to play the game so as you can see i'm walking through the game right now now when you're in the game and you win the tip off what you want to do is just like score a normal three you know what i'm saying a simple three and when they get the ball, y'all want to foul as quick as possible. Just foul the other team. And they should be getting the ball back right now. When they get the ball back, foul again. So you guys should have two fouls right now. And at this point, you should be getting substituted out. So skip this part. As y'all can see, we're already in the second quarter. What y'all guys want to do is foul again. Now you guys should be benched again. Skip this part. And I'm already at the halftime in less than like two seconds. Not gonna lie, halftime takes a moment. All right, so when you're back in again, make sure you foul again. As y'all can see, we're in third quarter. We want to make it to the fourth so foul again and when you foul again right away you will be substituted out again so just skip this part again and as you can see there's five minutes left in the fourth quarter if you guys are losing by a lot do not foul out again and make as much buckets as you can and try winning the game if you guys are still tied or you're winning by a little or even a lot you guys can foul again to go down to like two to three minutes just to save you some time but if you're losing by a lot you guys do not want to foul again because you won't have that much time to catch up and remember you guys do want to win these key games so as you can see i'm low-key losing my lot so i'm not gonna foul out i'm gonna guard up try not fouling and as you can see i'm gonna get the ball right away and i'm just gonna run up the court 
court, do a step back, and just green it. And I'm gonna keep doing that and try winning the game. You guys need to try winning the game. Now, for video purposes, I don't really care. I'm just gonna foul out. So, as you can see, if you guys were winning by a lot and you guys fouled again, you guys would be subbed in with about three to two minutes left. Now, if you guys are in the final quarter and you guys were winning by a lot and you're so confident that they won't catch up, you guys can low key just foul out and save some time. But you have to be really confident that they won't catch up. So, I'm talking about like winning by 30. Hey, sometimes the other team can clutch up. That's another green right there. I'm not catching up, so I'm just gonna foul out. This is all for video purposes. As you can see, I just fouled out right now. And as you can see, I lost the game. That's not what you guys want to do. You guys want to take time and win the game. The whole reason behind the fouling and stuff like that is so you guys can save time and not play the whole game. Because remember, there's more than one key game. There's about 5 to 12 key games. Sometimes even more. So you guys want to finish these key games. The more key games you win, the less you have to do. So try winning every single key game. To check how much key games you have, you guys want to go to my career and play next game. And for me, I press R1. And as you can see, it shows I have three more key games left. Now, usually when you finish all these key games, sometimes the game adds more. Sometimes it doesn't. It just depends. Now, as you can see, I have another key game right here. What I'm going to do is hold X and sim to the next one. Press yes. And as you can see, it just sims me to the next game. Remember, you are only playing key games, not normal games. Because normal games, you can actually sim. Now, after you completed all the key games and you're at the playoffs. Now, I'm not going to do it because I'm not trying to play all the key games again. It's going to take a while. But after you're in the playoffs, you guys can sim the playoffs but keep in mind make sure you guys sim one game at a time because what if you sim all the playoffs and you lose the playoffs you do not want to lose the playoffs so make sure you sim each playoff game one by one to see if you win the series pretend they won three times and you won once the score is 3-1 and if they win one more time you lose the playoffs you do not want to risk it and sim the final game you guys want to play those final games and clutch up back to 4-3 now let's say you sim to 3-3 and whoever wins game 7 wins you guys do not want to sim game 7 just in case if you lose but if you play game seven you guys will have control over it and you guys can do the foul method all the way to quarter four and just clutch up right there and you win the playoffs now keep in mind there's like three rounds of the playoffs you have to win each of the playoffs and then you finally get to the finals now same thing goes with the finals you guys can sim the finals but please do it one game by one game so you don't lose the finals and you can keep track of the score now after you win the finals you're gonna be getting lots of gold points and you guys should be getting the shorts right off the bat now after that you guys want to start up the next season do the same thing with the key games win the playoffs win the finals and you'll get even more goal points and then y'all should unlock the jersey win another one you guys should win the shoes and then do another one and you guys should win the go ahead now remember guys the double rep does not work so please do not ask for that it is patched i don't know why they patched it but that's that but hey guys that's pretty much it for today's video it's a quick little tutorial i'm trying to help your boys out i mean look how sick this alpha looks right here bro i'm not gonna lie if you wear this people will be afraid indeed well hopefully but guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i have a new 2k video coming up soon and let's just say i versed the number three top rep yes you guys heard me correctly this guy is third in top rep let's just say i played him and it was a very close game that video will be coming up soon but guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe if you guys have any questions comment down below make sure you also join the discord it's in the comments down below and i'll be catching up boys in the next video is this guy mad at me what is he doing peace out man